Good evening, and welcome to the second of our nationally televised debates. At this time, I'd like to introduce our two very distinguished candidates, Congressman Chuck Jenkins and Senator Robert Galworthy. Holly Glickman of The Times will ask the first question. Thank you. I'd like to begin this evening by asking Congressman Jenkins how he would, in fact, deal with the current national homeless situation. Holly, I'd like to thank you for asking me that question, and I have a very good answer, which I will get to shortly. But first, I'd like to start by making a public confession. This is something that would have eventually gotten out in the press, but I feel that you, the public, will respect me all the more for coming clean with you now. You see, for the last few years, I've had a problem with alcohol, especially those seven-ounce wine coolers. I'm now in rehab and getting better and better all the time. Please hold all your applause until the end. Senator Galworthy, your rebuttal. Well, once again, my opponent has managed to skirt the issue. But in the same vein, since a automobile accident almost three years ago, I've been seriously addicted to morphine. This is something I feel you should know since I base my platform on trust. A trust I feel my constituency so richly deserves. For the past decade, I've made the bulk of my living through the sale of pornography. For 20 years, I was the Grand Imperial Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan. I'm a practicing cannibal. I'm a woman. A woman. Who is it as if you are? I certainly I've got these. Oh, I have Step right up and see the show. It's Second City's life as we know it. Humpy Jai, come inside and take the ride. Ah, 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 Hudson Campbell, Steve Carell, Brad Sherwood, Ryan Stiles, Diane Stilwell. Remain in your seats. Keep your hands to yourself. It's Second City's life as we know it. A woman, a beautiful woman, standing in a golden field of grain. Amber waves of grain. She's Mother Nature. And Lady Liberty from the heartland of America. From the loving womb of Mother Earth herself, a new breakfast cereal is born. It's delicious. It's nutritious. It's the bite-sized way. To start your day. It's Ogman's Sugar Cubes. Don't like it. Okay, no problem. New concept! Rest assured, Mr. Rockman, when you hired us, you hired the best ad agency around. We've got ideas coming out of our, uh, uh tell me your idea, Jay. Okay, we want to show people that Ogman cereals are fun! So what's our target audience? Kids? Right, kids! And what do kids like? Uh... Rap music! Brilliant! Kick it! Well, it's fun! No lunch! Eat Ogman sugar cubes at breakfast time! You should! Cause it's good! It's the Def Jam Buggin' New, new Breakfast Fun! Yo, Ogman! Yo, Ogman! Yo, Ogman! Give me space! Stop crowding the man, Jay! No, space! Kids love space! Oh, outer space! It's like you read our minds, sir! Yeah, and dinosaurs! Space and dinosaurs! New concept! Take it, Michael! All right, uh, we want to start off with a big promotion, sir. Inside every box of sugar cubes is a pair of 3D glasses. Because the commercial is in 3D! Yes, and it starts off with a giant bowl of sugar cubes flying through the galaxy! Oop. He's dead. Dead? You killed him. Oh, we're pointing fingers now, are we? Let's not panic here. It was an accident. Look at his head. Who's going to think that was an accident? Okay. No problem. New concept! Okay, who's our target audience? The police! Right, and what do police look for? Clues! Right, so we make it look like an accident! Okay, he loves the campaign we're presenting, so what he does is he... Goes to the bar to get a drink! Brilliant! But he overindulges! KL, are you sure you want that drink? I want it! I need it! Look out for that bubble in the carpet, KL! What are you doing? 
Who's gonna believe he accidentally smashed his head against a desk 18 times? New concept! Uh, 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 out the window! Whoa, 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 whoa! It was a suicide! We've gotta leave a note! We'll fax it to the police later. Brilliant! Don't jump, KL! I gotta jump! No one's buying this god awful pre sweetened styrofoam I call cereal! Booga booga! I'm gonna jump on all you people down there! Now push him! I'm not gonna push him, I killed him, you push him! You push him! I'm not gonna push hey, him! Hey, what are you guys? Ah! New concept! He'd been watching Birdman of Alcatraz! So he thought he could fly! He couldn't fly! Though. He had feathers glued to his back! Look like ketchup on stick! Hi, I'm Jerry. What's your name? Melanie. It's a beautiful day, isn't it, Melanie? Yeah. You know, running is my life. Mine too. <laughs> we have so much in common. Yes, it frightens me. Fear of commitment? I've been hurt before. I know how you feel. Hey! Let's have dinner tonight. Sure, why not? Something romantic? I've got the perfect place. Guido's. Guido's. Oh. <laughs> Do you believe this? I can't imagine us ever disagreeing on anything. And after dinner, we'll take a drive out to my beach house. Gary, hmm? I'm not ready for that. A man has his needs, Melanie. Give him time. All right, this weekend, let's go away. I want to, but I've got the business thing. Is work more important than us? Look, don't make demands on me. All right, forget I mentioned it. Don't be angry. I'm not angry. Just run. Oh, so you're gonna sulk. I know you. I'm not sulking. You know, our whole problem is your inability to communicate. Hey, don't preach to me. Don't you understand? The only reason I'm telling you these things is because I love you. Look, we need our space. I, I want to start seeing other women. Oh, should have seen this coming. Well, let's face it. The only reason we stayed together this long is because it's comfortable. Maybe you're right. But we had some good times, didn't we? The best. We grew together. <laughs> and now we've grown apart. Still friends? Yeah, of course. Closing time. I got a problem with that, Rico. What do you mean? Problem? Betty and I got a Lamaze class at 7.30. You hear that, Rocky? Tough guy Duke here's got a Lamaze class. Yeah, Friday's no good for me either, Rico. Uh, Debbie works late and I, I gotta mind the kids. Why don't you get some live-in help like we got? That ain't for me, Duke. No stranger's gonna raise my kids. I couldn't handle the guilt. Yeah, Betty and I had some guilt over leaving Brian with the nanny, but we worked it out with our family therapist. Oh, yeah? yeah? I would like some guilt over this bank job if you jokers don't mind. You know, speaking of jokers, I need a clown for Nicole's first birthday on Saturday. Oh, you know a good one, Duke? Don't be a sap, Rocky. You're never gonna find a party clown at this late date. There's a six-month waiting list. I have been waiting six months to pull this heist, see? That's it. Oh, hey, 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 don't be a fool here, Rico. I mean, let's talk about it. Talk, that's all you guys want to do is talk. Yeah, 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 like a couple of dames. Uh, it's tough having a career and a family, Rico. Uh, you wouldn't know. You're a single man. I'm staying single, too. I'm pulling this job alone. <laughs> do me one last favor, Rico. Pick my kid up at preschool and take him to his finger painting class. Mr. Neff? Usual? Yeah, thanks, Joe. All right. Say, uh, Mr. Neff, 
You know, like the other fireflies around here. I mean, uh, you know, you got a head on your shoulders. So? I saw I was wondering, you know, uh, how come you, uh, you know, hit the skids? Well, it's a long story, Joe. It'll require a flashback. Well, that's what we're here for, huh? Well, I still can't believe it happened. It all started just three months ago. Yeah, I was a hot shot broker with a firecracker in my pocket, on my way to the top. So I'm heading to the office one morning, same as usual, and don't ask me why, but that day I stopped to watch one of those, you know, street mimes. Well, he was having some fun with the crowd, and I gotta admit, I was getting a laugh or two out of it myself. <laughs> Next thing I know, he was giving me a ribbing. Before you know it, I'm late. So I start to hightail it to my office when something tells me I'm not alone. This guy was sticking to me like a summer cold. Now fun is fun, but to be honest, he was starting to get on my nerves. I arrived at work thinking I had lost the pest. I was wrong. Now, people, if you could all turn to your cost analysis reports as prepared by Mr. Neff. Where's Mr. Neff? Oh, sorry I'm late. I was just, uh, I was just, uh, I was, uh, it's not really very important. If you'll all, uh, if you'll all, uh, just open your, uh, report to, uh, page 18, I think you can see... Mr. Neff! This is a place of business, not a circus sideshow! Well, mine. Well, I can explain that. You see, I was, uh, I was on my way to work this morning, uh, you know, usual route. I just, uh, I thought I'd walk instead of drive because I've been having a little problem with the... Well, they didn't understand, Joe, and now I was out of a job. At that moment, I felt completely alone in the world. Well, almost. No matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't shake the little guy. And it began to affect my marriage. Just to say, Betty left me the next day. Now, well, from that point, my life... just two weeks ago. A shot rang out, a baby cried, a woman screamed. Hey, buddy, don't you see I'm serving this guy here? Give me a minute, huh? Go ahead, Mr. Neff. From that point, my life made a beeline for the drain. Finally, I, I couldn't take it anymore. The way I saw it, there was only one way out of this jam. If you got anything to say, say it now. And what's Mr. Pasty Face do? He mime for his life. But I wasn't buying it. Where's the violins, I said. But I couldn't do it. Me. Eddie Neff. Too soft to kill a street mime. Next thing I know, it's morning, and he was gone. Well, I felt relieved at first, but here's the kicker, Joe, the twist in the plot. I missed the little guy. You see, we had a lot in common. We liked to do the same things. I got tipped off to a certain after-hours joint. You know, where a lot of mimes go to unwind after a tough day. I'm looking for a street mime. Skinny guy, white makeup, black leotard. But they weren't talking either, Joe. Not even a peep. Cat had their tongues. Their lips were zipped. By now, I recognize the old silent treatment. <laughs> Who was I kidding? It was over. I'd never find him. Probably for the best, huh, Joe? Hey, last one for the books, huh, Mr. Neff? Well, then last Thursday, I was minding my own business. I didn't know what came... Hey, Mr. Neff, don't you think you've had enough for one night? Please, Joe. One more flashback. It's closing time, Mr. Neff. Uh... I'll call you a cat. No, no. That's okay, Joe. 
Hey. Thanks for listening. Anytime, Eddie. Anytime. Get away from me, no. Now just get out of here, beat it! Get out of here! God, I hate those guys. husband and soon-to-be blind date. What? What are you talking about? Listen, we don't have much time. In a nutshell, I'm from the future. No! Susan, listen! Stop it! Any minute now, your date, Mark Pritchett, will knock at that door. I'm him six years from now. Or rather, he's me six years ago. You're him. He's you. Exactly. And I have come back from the future, Susan, to warn you. Nip this thing in the bud right now. What? The date? It's gonna be that bad? No, it's going to be great. We're going to have a lot of great dates. It's what comes after that's so awful. The rotten marriage, the lies, the infidelity. What lies? Whose infidelity? Financial ruin, lawyer's fees, psychiatrist bills for the kids. Kids? Okay, that's me. Uh, remember, don't believe a word I say. I'm superficial and scum. And whatever you do, don't tell me you saw me. Susan, it's nice to finally meet you. I'm Mark, and these are for you. Excuse me. What, am I here? You're outside. What are you waiting for? Go break my heart. It is Susan, isn't it? Mark, I, please, come in. Well, if you're sure it's all right. It's just that I, I thought I smelled gas, and I... Uh, well, uh, we better get going. Uh, Casa de Maison has a strict policy. 30 seconds late, and we lose our reservation. Well, I'll get my coat. Okay. What are you doing? I told you to get rid of me. I am. I mean, I will. I have to work up to it. Susan, is everything all right? Fine. You cannot go out to dinner with me. You know, Susan, it's not often I meet someone I can really talk to, but you're terrific. A great listener. Susan, is everything okay? I was just saying that you and I seem to have a real rapport. Bonjour, please Harry. The kitchen will be closing in five minutes. What? We are remodeling and need to reconsider some changes. I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. Susan, I really think you're the type of woman I could get serious about. Mark. If you had information about your future, do you think you could use that knowledge to alter your destiny? Is this a trick question? Answer me, Mark! Well, I'm a big believer in fate. That's it! Take me home. Please don't walk me to the door. Okay. Can I call you? No. I can't see you anymore. I wish I could explain. Well, I'm sure you have your reasons. I won't pry. I'm sorry, Mark. Please don't be angry. I'm not angry, Susan. Disappointed. See ya. <laughs> you did it! You did it, Susan! You saved 
us both from years of excruciating pain and heartache. It was that bad? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it wasn't all bad. Actually, the first three years were pretty nice. What went wrong? We made mistakes. We stopped communicating. I slept with your sister, Barbara. What? And your sister, Debbie. You scum! You're right, I know. Hey, your sisters were always coming on to me. I was lonely, I finally gave in. Midlife crisis, I guess. Sue me. Oh, right, you did. You mentioned kids? Oh, yeah. Joey and Melissa. My, uh, family thinks that Joey's a spitting image of me when I was his age. Personally, I, I think he looks a lot more like you. Or would have. I guess I won't see them when I get back. Can I have this? Sure. Why not? Well, I better be getting back now. Goodbye, Susan. Mark, wait! How were you able to time travel like this? Oh, I just rewired an old 8-track tape player. Really? Gullible. Unless she needs you. Susan! Oh. Susan! I'm not one for making grandstands. I don't care if there's someone else. I don't care if you're really a man. I like you. Couldn't we just go someplace and talk? I'd love to. Really? Great. There is this terrific little dessert bistro I've been wanting to try. How'd you hear about this place? From my brother. You uh, got any brothers or sisters? No, sisters. Definitely no sisters. I'm an only child. Oh, too bad. Life, what a gas. It's a trip, hey, it's a ride. Come and S double E, what's inside? You've got phone mail and faxes, sex and weddings, junk bonds and taxes, gangland bloodlettings. It's birth and it's death, and it's all of the rest. It's one marvelous party, but you're just a guest. You've got one shot, so baby, don't blow it. Can't pay your dues, guess you'll just have to owe it It's life, Jack, life as we know it It's life, life as we know it It's life as we know it